slide 82, lesson 5, pronominal suffixes. Let us put on the end of words that tell us who we are talking to. You know, uh, the Hebrew language is pretty compact, a biblical Hebrew language. When you're traveling through the wilderness for 40 years uh, and you're carrying the Torah around with you, it's, uh, it's good to travel light. And it just so happens that uh, in Hebrew, unlike English, uh, if we want to say my, my house, your house, her house, their house, we have pronominal suffixes, uh, a number of letters at the end of the word that t tell us uh, whose house it belongs to. My house, your house, and her house. So it's a very short hand way of saying the same thing. You don't have a sep separate word, you have a separate number of letters. You can have separate words, we'll look at that later, but um, Hebrew is a very light uh, language, Biblical Hebrew is a very uh, compact language. Now let's have a look at the uh, one that we looked at before. We had the word for son and we had a, a yod at the end of it and it became my son. So if we had the word ben here and we put the yod there, it changes from ben which means son to beni which is my son. And if I have more than one son, I could say benay. That's just the yod and the patach uh, here underneath it. Benay. And every once in a while, there's this alternate form. But this is the main one, a yod here, meaning my or me. Okay. If I say your, I put a cha at the end of it, a cuff with a kamitz here, ka. So instead of ben, meaning son, I go ben cha, ben cha, your son, or benecha, your sons. Benecha, your sons. So we have a cuff here, a final cuff. And this is a 2MS. This is a second person masculine singular. So we're talking to a man when we use this um, pronominal suffix, cha, at the end. Cuff, with the um, comments. Okay. If we want to say your son to a woman, we don't say bin bin cha, we say benech. It's the same, it's the same final cuff, but it has a different vowel. Uh, it's just it's just benech, benech, benech. And if I want to say your sons, if I say it to a man, it's benecha, thy sons. But if I say to a woman, it's benayach, benayach, benayach. So this is a second person feminine singular. So here we have sons, beni, your son, benecha, and your son to a woman, benech. Okay, the next one. If I want to say his son, I would say beno, beno. This is a vav with a holom, it's a holom vav. So I say beno, his son, beno. And every once in a while there's this alternate form here, but the uh, ma main one is for uh, singular is this one here. And if I want to say his sons, it's benayev, benayev. So we just have this yod in here followed by the vav and a different vowel. So it becomes benayev. Beno becomes benayev. Again, oh, and I, this is often pronounced benav as well. Uh, so this is a third person masculine singular. We're speaking the third person. We're speaking to someone about someone else. 
his son. And it, we're talking to a man. And we're talking one person. Okay. Then there is the um, female version of this. Her son. So Beno is his son. And Bina is his... Uh, sorry, her son. Bina. So we add a hay here. And that denotes her son. And uh, if I want to say her sons, I would say Beneha, Beneha, her sons. So that's a third person feminine singular. And if I want to say our son, I would say Benenu, Benenu. So I add the nu to the end, a nun and a shurek, a vav with a dot in it with a new sound. Benu. Benu. Our son. Benenu. Our sons. Benenu. Our sons. That's the plural. So it's a first person common plural. Our. Benenu. As opposed to the first person common singular. Beni. My son. Okay, the next example. If I want to speak to a group of men, uh, of a group of men, uh, no, to a group of men, I would say, bin chem, bin chem, bin chem. So I add the kaf and the mem to it with this seagull, this s sound, bin chem. Again, the masculine form takes precedence over uh, the feminine when there's a group of males and females together. So this is bin chem and this is bin chem. Now if I want to say your son to a group of women, I say bin chen, bin chen. So I add this cuff seagull and final nun. It's a nun, not a vav. It's a bit longer than a vav. Bin chen. And if I want to say your sons, it's bin chen. And I'm speaking to a group of women. Bin chen. So that's the second person feminine plural. And if I want to say their son, it's bin him, bin him, I add the hay, the seagull and the mem. So it's bin him, I add the him here. Sometimes I just have this form here at the end of the word. In any case, it means their, their son. Or their sons, bin him, bin him, bin him, their sons. So this is the third person masculine Plural. And finally, if I want to say their son to uh, a, of a group of women, then I use the third person feminine plural, hen. Hey, seagull, nun. Final nun. Hen. Bin hen. Bin hen. And, and there's this alternate form here as well. So can either be that or that, but if I want to say their, their sons, uh, speaking of a group of women, their sons, I would say b'nai hen. So if I'm speaking to a group of, uh, of a group of men, I'd say b'nai hen, their, their sons, b'nai hen. But if I'm speaking to women, it's b'nai hen. So you notice the, the mem there for the masculine. M for masculine, if you like. There it is there. For your son, b'nai chem, and your sons, b'nai chen, b'nai chen. So that's pronominal suffixes. There's quite a few there. There's a, so you've got to learn this, and this is just a variation of it. You'll come across these all the time. You won't come across this one quite so much, this one here and this one here, because most of the dialogue is between men in the Bible, 
but there is dialogue between the women. So uh, it's a good idea to print this uh, table out for handy reference. There's a number of tables in this course that you should print out. This is one of them. This is one of them. And um, just slowly, bit by bit, you'll learn this. You'll see these in every sentence in Hebrew. So this is not something you just come across once in a while. This is on almost every sentence in the Bible in Hebrew. You'll have one of these suffixes. And we'll have a look at some of those in the, uh, the second part of this lesson, uh, in the Hebrew blessings. Uh, you'll see this sort of thing occur all the time. So in particular, learn this one, this one, and this one here. So uh, the Yod for Beni, my son, and the Vav for Beno, his son, That's and Benecha, thy son. Those, those are ones that are very common. And our son, Benenu, is a very common one. And this one here, Benechem, your son. Those are the most common out of the lot. And sometimes her son, Bena. But uh, it's mostly this one here, the one CES, the Yod, the two MS, Cha, and the three MS, O, and the one first person common plural, Nu, and second person masculine plural, and third person masculine plural. So print the, certainly print this out and have it for handy reference. And you'll slowly uh, 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 memorize that as you're coming across these words all the time. So we'll look at some examples.